you know, why has this impacted you so much, Olden? Um, you know, why were you hit so hard by Kobe's tragic death? Well, for, on many levels. One, I've known him since he was seven years old. I knew his dad. I've, well, I know his dad. And I played against him, then played against Kobe years later. Um, we've had a relationship, you know, throughout the years, throughout our careers. You know, I was the guy, you know, his rookie year, helping him get in the club. You know, the first time when all the other NBA players were walking by him, ignoring him, because I've never been that kind of guy. And so he kind of latched on a little bit. Oh, wow. You know, he was so happy. And of course, the famous fight between him and Shaquille, I was the one that broke that up. It's like a lot of different little things that's happened throughout our years, you know, that's grown that. And I just, I just loved how he carried himself. And how he evolved, you know, not just from a basketball standpoint, you know, 20 years with one organization winning championships. And then all of a sudden to turn that into something else off the court just as great. And so to me, that's what that's what makes it so hard is seeing the legend he was becoming off the court. You know, the stuff he was doing with the young girls, with his daughter Gianna and the team and uplifting women. You know, I love that about him. Yeah, I saw that you put up some artwork that that you had uh, drawn, uh, and I know you you said in the caption that you don't really do too much art anymore, but you felt compelled, I guess, uh, to kind of you know, I guess maybe re you know just release some of that the, those feelings that you were having. Is that yeah? Why you made that piece. What's that? Is that why you made that piece of art? Yeah. Well, you know what? I woke up that morning, literally. And something just said, draw something. It was a spirit that came over me and said, draw something. And I, again, I hadn't really put pen to paper in a long time. And so I was like, I just got there. I just started drawing, you know. I looked at a picture and I was like, okay, boom, 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 and knocked it out. It was like maybe 30 minutes. Wow. But it was like, it just, something came over me. You know, I felt his spirit. I felt Gianna's spirit. And also, you know, I, we always got to remember there were, you know, seven other people on that flight. So we always got to remember that. I know Cody's a focal point, but we always got to remember there were other nine other people, you know, nine people total. And all these families were really tragically affected. Any chance you're going to be able to make it over to the service when they have it at uh, Staples? Oh, I've already blocked that out. Yes, I'm going. Yeah, I have to. I got to go pay my respects. And it's going to be tough. You know, we still, I'm still dealing with it on a daily basis. I'm, you know, I'm, I guess I'm like a lot of people, you know, playing the denial role. You know, I'm like, ah, I'm going to hear that, you know, he some way managed to get out. <laughs> I'm just, but I, oh, God, it's rough, man.